Oh, so here is the demo website for my to-do list app. Um, this is a web app that is a task manager, a clone of Todoist, which is an existing app uh, for task management. Um, let me log out so you can see the landing page. So here's the landing page. Um, if you scroll down, you can see um, this is kind of a clone of the original Todoist uh, landing page. It, it doesn't have everything in there, but um, yeah, I just wanted to make a nice landing page. You can go to sign up. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can go to sign up and you can sign up using your uh, first name, e uh, last name, email, and password. I don't have OAuth yet, so I cannot. You cannot um, sign up using Google or Facebook. If you already have an account, you can go to login. Um, but let's just uh, show that we can sign up. So let's say, uh, uh, let's say Sam Smith. And let's use s at s dot com. Password will be password. Uh, and these forms all have uh, validation. So if I type the wrong password, for example, you'll get an error saying password and confirmation must match. So let's type the correct one and sign up. So if you successfully sign up, you'll get logged in and you will be here at the uh, main tasks page. So right now we don't have any tasks that we created and we have not been assigned any tasks by others. But we can create a new task, so let's create a new task. So let's say uh, make coffee. Category home. And these categories are presets. Um, I would like to eventually have a um, an option to add your own category. Uh, but for now, um, to keep it simple, I have made these presets and these are the only categories available. You can click a due date, so let's say due tomorrow. Select a priority level, say medium, and assign it to someone. Now these people that are showing up in this drop down are the people that already are part of the app or have an account. I would like to have uh, functionality where you can have friends or people that you're associated with. And so when you click on this drop down to assign a task to someone, it'll be uh, only the people that you're associated with uh, rather than everyone in the website. But for now, this is uh, showing you all the accounts that are available. Um, I, I, there's two of these because I made two different accounts um, with different emails. Um, but yeah, let's click, let's assign it to ourselves and click create. So if that went through, that task will have been added to all the tasks as well as whichever um, category we have here. So we can make coffee. Um, you can see the due date. You can also see this X, which tells you that it has not been completed and it is assigned to myself or Sam Smith. We can click on the task and it will give you the task details. Now you have these three buttons. If you are the person that created the task, you can edit the task or you can delete the task. Um, if you did not create the task, these two will not show up. If you have been assigned the task, then you have this complete button. All right, so we can click edit because we created the task. You can edit however you would like. So let's change the date to tomorrow. Um, let's change the priority to low and update it. So you can see that the date has changed. The priority has changed. All right, and let's uh, complete the task. So if you click complete, your task is now complete. You see that there's a green check mark. And when you click on it, you see that it has been completed. And because it has been completed, the complete button it is now gone. And you only have the edit and delete button. So let's delete our task. And you can see that it has been deleted. Now let me log in with my other account so you can see uh, some other things. So I think it was this one. So you can see some of the filtering capabilities. So here are all the tasks that I created. These will show up here. And these are the tasks that have been t assigned to me by others. All right, so uh, on the left side, you have this uh, navigation um, bar column. And uh, it gives you the count of um, all the tasks that are here. So you have six tasks here. 
and you can filter by priority. So right now I don't have the today and the next seven days cap uh, functionalities on there, um, but I you can filter the task by priority. So you can go to the high priority tasks and it'll sort them by, um, I believe it, it will sort them by when they were created. And here are my high priority tasks. There are nothing assigned to me by others. Medium priority, I have those. And then low priority, you can see that um, I have the one that was assigned to me by someone else. Now, if I click on that one, as, uh, as we talked about before, because I'm not the one that created it, I can't edit or delete the task, but I can complete it because it was assigned to me. Um, essentially, um, I, I don't have the category filtering, but essentially it's the same uh, logic as the priority filtering. Um, so that's something that I will add very soon. Um, but for demo purposes, I um, only have the priority filtering for now. And that's basically all the capability or all the functionality of this website. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching.